Hi guys, it's mmm, I like you, yeah. I've been smoking too many cigarettes, that's why my voice kind of sounds blah. But uh, I'm back. Sorry I've taken a little break, but I was feeling kind of uninspired for the last week, so I just really didn't do anything. Okay, so the first thing that I want to talk about tonight, I'm very... <laughs> I'm very sad because... Honey, my phone broke! I mean, honey, I've had this phone since like 2000, 2001. It was a gift from one of my friends I had mentioned. Oh, I really like those green VTEC phones and she got it for me. And I've had it for years and I love it. And uh, my friend Kate and I uh, quote the IS yeah, yeah, sisterhood to each other and we, um, I was on the phone with her one day and there's the scene where if anybody knows what I'm talking about, Sandra Bullock is like, I am sick and tired of her drunken rages and she starts slamming the phone down. Well I did that with Kate and I, I kind of broke the phone so I can't even turn it on. So I had to go out and get this, this uninspired piece of crap, but I mean it works and I mean it's okay, I'll get used to it, but I'm very upset that my phone's broke. Ah! Okay, that's for all of you who wanted it. Second, I wasn't going to talk about this, but I'm feeling more and more um, compelled to do so. There is this huge debate over Gay Diamond. I am one of her subscribers. I've spoken about her before. Um, but today, and I'm going to say this as delicately as I can, I think her newest video is a piece of crap. Um, Today, earlier, she made a video where she was, Jeff had brought her all these flowers, they were silk flowers, and she was going to turn into a multi-million dollar business, which, you know, good for her. I, I hope she does. Uh, and then I just logged on, and now, within the span of less than eight hours, I think, um, according to to my calculations. She started getting death threats from uh, this group that she spoke out against and whatever. If you don't know what I'm talking about, then go do research. If you do, then you know what I mean. Uh, anyway, she's getting death threats. They're going to burn her trailer down. She was semi-emotional. Um, you know, I don't buy it personally, but that's just me. I mean, let me clarify. If it's true, then I do feel bad for her. But I don't find it to be true. I think it's a load of crap. And I think her and her multi-million dollar flower business, um, I think that that's more believable. Whatever. Um, but, Gay Diamond, if you're out there and you're watching, I hope that you're safe. Because I don't wish ill upon anybody. So, she's that special brand of crazy, but I don't mind watching her. Um, let's see. What else did I want to talk about tonight? Oh, on a very serious note, Heath Ledger and Brad Renfro, I cannot believe that both of them have passed away. It's absolutely sad and devastating. Brad Renfro was 25 and Heath Ledger being 28, um, far too early to go. Both of them talented young men. Um, you know, we're not, we're not going to know for another five or six weeks when the toxicology reports come back whether or not it was a drug overdose or suicide or whatever they're saying neither one of them looks like suicide which I'm glad it's kind of a moot point because they're both dead but I feel very badly about that and God bless them wherever they are and I hope that they're just at peace and that you know their family can find some solace and, and peace you know and that their grieving process you know I just hope that they can find a way to deal with this terrible tragedy so I wanted to bring that up um, because it's it's just not right but let's see um what else has been going on with me oh a lot of you have been uh, writing comments uh, on my last video that I did mommy's little angel uh, my friend Sean uh, who is a very dear friend of mine her daughter Nina is the one who starred in that um, and a lot of people are like, she's so good, you know, where did, how did you get her to do this, you know, blah, blah, blah. Um, Nina's just very talented. I mean, she, and this is what I told Sean, we had to do, of most scenes, she watches Hannah Montana a lot. Um, and most of the scenes we had to retake because she tries to be too cute. Now, she's six, so being cute just comes naturally. But there was the one scene, like, where she says, um, you're going to be really sorry, uh, and I needed for her to be dark and, you know, just express, you're going to be really sorry. But she would say it like, 
you're gonna be really sorry. And I kept telling her, I'm like, you can't do the head thing, and you know, you've got to be serious. And so each scene took about, it depends, between three and six takes, but she'd finally kind of lose that and get it down to, you know, being serious. And she did a great job. And what I told Sean was, I said, you know what, if she couldn't act, I wouldn't have any usable footage. I wouldn't be able to piece this together. She did a wonderful job. She is a very talented little girl, and um, I think we're going to do a sequel or something else to it because it was a lot of fun to shoot. Um, I especially like the part where she slaps her mom. Uh, that's every kid's dream. No offense, Sean. Um, Sean did a great job. Cameron, her uh, older son, he's only in it briefly. He did a great job. Somebody put a comment in there. They were like, Bill, you fell down four steps. What, did you want me to throw myself down the entire staircase? Um, I, I, anyway, it was a great project. We had a lot of fun doing it. And um, so, yeah, just look for more. I think Nina is a great little actress. And uh, she definitely, she could not, the next, she went to bed before it was done being edited. The next day, she couldn't stop watching it before she went to school. So, so anyway, thanks Nina and Sean and Cameron for all your help. And thank you for everybody for all the nice comments. Um, I'll try and use Nina more often um, because I'm sure you all get sick of seeing me uh, just running around being by myself. And it is fun to work with other actors. Paula's back, and I couldn't be happier. After 13 years, Paula Abdul has finally released a new song, a musical collaboration with Randy Jackson. It's called Dance Like There's No Tomorrow, and it really is awesome. I mean, it's probably not her best song ever, but I love it. I'm so glad she's back. Anybody who knows me knows I'm a Closet Paula fan. Even though it's not cool, I don't care. I grew up listening to her music, and I'm just happy she's back. Hey. If you can hear it, great. Go to iTunes, buy it, request it, and make it popular, because I want, Al uh, I want Paula to put out an album. So. Dance like there's no tomorrow, guys. I hope everybody's doing good. I'm probably going to do another video tonight. I'm feeling very creative, and it's 2.30 in the morning, and I'm bored. So, talk to you all soon. Hope you have a good one, and thanks for watching. Mmm, I'm a likey. Be back soon.